following video uh, will take you quickly through um, essentially the account based selling process and then using some sales enablement tools to help me focus on uh, selling in the Texas oil and gas market uh, specifically to producers so what I'm looking at right now is I'm looking at the uh, Salesforce analytics cloud and I've got a dashboard and the dashboard is looking at wells that have been drilled since the beginning of February so I want to nail down kind of who the busiest is so I can break it down a lot of geographic reference by district so this is a uh, broken out by the Texas Railroad Commission the districts I can look at uh, you know specific counties and it would show me the uh, players in the counties I can look at uh, cities and then see um, you know who's operating near the city and then but in this particular case I want to look at fields and then see who's the busiest field so right now I see the uh, Sprawberry uh, primary field and I can click on that and I can say who is the biggest uh, driller so when we look at uh, account based selling we first look at market segmentation so I'm saying I want my market segmentation is by field then we look at accounts so I'm um, I've got a lot of aspirations so I'm gonna go after the top account which happens to be QEP energy and then when I uh, take a closer look at this I can see what county they're in I can see what district they're in uh, we can come over here they're drilling oil wells horizontal and then we come down here and we can see the depths of the wells we can look at dates so on and so forth to see when they've been drilling these wells uh, or when they've been spudding the wells now when I come from here um, I might want to use the mapping tool and get kind of a geographic reference for where that field is so I can uh, you know uh, say okay well now I know roughly where we are and what what areas that we're looking in here and I could break it down specifically in the account that I'm looking for but in this case I'm going to go to the account record inside of my CRM some of the different things that I want to look for when I'm in the account record um, is one is my contacts so if I happen to be in the uh, the drilling industry I uh, I'm looking at and I'm finding while well, most of these contacts that I have are specifically uh, drilling related contacts I can look at some other different information like uh, the wells here are all the wells I can see the well license date and the date that those particular wells have been uh, spud so uh, good information for me and then uh, you know I might come down here and take a look at this is an area where I can put information and I'm picking up as I go with the account and in this it's called chatter and it's kind of a free form uh, text box so I might come in here and then say okay rigs I'm interested to see what did I post in here uh, on rigs and then based on our current plan um, they're running five to six rigs and then that's assuming we're at fifty five uh, dollars uh, for um, uh, for oil and three dollars for natural gas I might look in and say well what is the budget for this particular customer and then uh, when I type that in here we can go in here and take a closer look at that and then the capital approved budget is one billion dollars so just some good information quickly about this particular account the account based selling process market segmentation so I went into my field contacts or sorry accounts I made my list of accounts now I want to go specifically into my contacts I can then start drilling down into the uh, organizational chart related to this particular organization and then start to evaluate uh, each one of the contacts that I'm dealing with in this uh, this organization and um, you know when we are doing that we can go through the process of identifying the uh, the particular contact uh, when I look at it we can uh, come in here and we can um, uh, associate some information uh, related to this particular contact so what level are they so this particular person is a senior manager what status are they you know they may be unaware of something I want to reach out and speak with this particular customer in uh, budget controlled so when we look at how many rigs he's running let's say that you know he has a hundred million dollar budget uh, associated with him and then we start to sort that out when I go into the contact record itself I can see that uh, um, you know some information I have with him and then I also see that uh, his LinkedIn profile some of the things that are interesting for me who do I know that knows him who can uh, potentially introduce me uh, to this particular contact so who do I know that has uh, uh, relationships with him that I can ask for a introduction 
and then I can drill down a little bit further into his profile and then what I'm hoping for is I can pick out uh, tidbits of information associated with that so when we look at it here what is it saying that he's done before uh, so on and so forth so that's an example of when we're looking at increased sales productivity and then using the account based selling process uh, some of the tools that are available to, uh, for us today.